What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here, doing another Transformers figure review on the Transformers Generations Deluxe Class RC figure. If you're trying to get this figure yourself, you can get big, 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 big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. A lot of Transformers fans have been waiting for this figure to come out for a very long time. This is a very cool looking piece I remember seeing at BotCon earlier this year. You get this IDW comic right over there. And then on the back you see both modes of RC, you get some specs right there at the bottom, and then there's a bio on RC if you want to read it, pause it now. Anyway, let's get to it and crack this thing open. So here's RC out of the packaging, and I think this is a great figure. This is one of my favorite Generations figures I've picked up in a while, man. I really like this a lot. This basically has everything I can ask for in an RC figure, especially for classics. You know, th this is just really looking really cool. She does have a huge backpack over here, which does not bother me at all whatsoever. She does come with some weapons over here. She does come with her comic book, which I actually did not read at all. Anyway, these guns right here are pretty cool. I did see Optibotamus' review. Uh, he does have a version where the hands are actually closed up all the way. It's just kind of a port. And looking closely at the hand right here, you can see this gun. It looks like it's supposed to stop right there, which I think is kind of strange. So I try to push it all the way down there so it looks a little bit better. But I don't know, I kind of fear stripping the plastic on the thumb. But, you know, it's, so far it's looking pretty good. And the sculpt on this gun looks pretty good as well. I like all these little lines over here. You get that trigger. On the left side over here, you can see the same thing. Um, you know, that little piece of plastic looks like it's supposed to stop right there. Same thing with this gun. You just put it in there and, I don't know, I, I just can't stand how that looks. That just looks terrible to me, so I have to push that all the way down. And I think the thumb is going to be okay. I don't think that's going to be too bad. And especially like how this gun looks over here. I think this is my favorite one out of the four. I like the pink added to here and then you get that gray and black combo going in there and you do have pink coming out of the blaster. The figure has weapon storage all over the place. I guess you could plug these guns into her forearms over here so there are ports available for that which I don't know kind of looks a little bit weird or you can have them holstered right here on her hips. She has great hips I might add. And I guess that works okay too. Now she also has these really cool blue translucent plastic pieces is over here for weapons. And I like tucking these in here because I don't know, I just prefer her having these two as her guns. But anyway, you could take these out. It doesn't say you're supposed to store these here in the directions, but it just works out for me. I take the piece with the three, you know, thingies sticking out right there and I try to sneak that like in that little crevasse right there so you can see how that looks. You're not supposed to try to jam it in there. These blue translucent guns are identical to each other and I think they're sculpted very well. I like how they look. And you do have the same storage option for these. You know, you could put these on her hips over here. You could also place these on her forearms over here. And yes, this part right here is contoured very well to her forearm. Unfortunately, she doesn't hold them in her hands very well at all. They just fall out very easily. It's like this peg is not long enough. As soon as you move it around, it's going to pop right out. You also hold these guns like swords over here. So I guess they're a combo of a sword and a gun at the same time, which is pretty neat. A lot of posing options with this figure and all these weapons. And just getting a quick look at the frame of her body over here. This looks great. This is such a great effeminate looking piece. She has nice hips over here. I just love those thighs. Those are great robot thighs. And even the breast section over here in the upper torso it's very nicely made man Psst. Hey, where you going, mamacita? I absolutely love the head sculpt on this figure. I really, really dig this a lot. We get that light pink over her face. You have some nice light piping over there. That looks fantastic. And I really like the gray paint mixed with, with this blue right there on the sides. It's kind of tricky to see with the white figure and the white backdrop over here, but really nice sculpted lines and everything on the helmet section of the figure. Like I said, the light piping is fantastic. Look at that, man. That is great. Get that big blue translucent piece on the back of her head, and then it's not blocked at all by her backpack over here. They made that space over there, so it's very easy to get that light piping through there. That just looks great. And just to get one last look at the rest of the body of this figure, I think it looks great. A lot of nice sculpted lines. I just love how the body parts are sculpted over here. The proportions are just fantastic. She has these little feet, but they do hold her up very well. She has some nice heel spurs right over there. Looking up at the side of this figure, looking pretty good. And she does have this huge backpack, but I'm always used to seeing RC with the big backpack, so that's why that doesn't bother me at all. And the figure has some great articulation. You can move her head upwards. She cannot move her head down so much, but she can rotate her head side to side. She does have neck pivot over here. She has ball jointed shoulders that move outward. They can move forward. She has a bicep swivel, a single jointed elbow that bends in very, very far. No wrist swivel over here and no waist articulation, but she does have some decent hips that move outward due to the transformation. You can get them really spread 
spread out there. Uy, cochina. And then you can move her legs all the way forward like that. And she can bend it at the knee very far. And she has ankles that move down and up. And unfortunately, no ankle pivot. Now, this is a deluxe class figure. And up to the backpack, she's at about five and a half inches tall. And here's our seat compared to her Revenge of the Fallen movie version and the Generations Windblade. And here she is next to the repainted Classics Prime. Thank you, Alfonso. And I think these work in a perfect scale together. And here's our seat compared to Masterpiece Prime and Masterpiece Bumblebee. And I don't know if she fits into scale with these guys. I, I think RC would be, you know, a bit taller about right here. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think of this scaling, because I wouldn't mind having an RC in my Masterpiece display. Now, that figure has an awesome transformation. I really like it a lot. So, will you take us away, Bumblebee? So the first thing I like to do is detach this backpack over here a little bit. It doesn't necessarily separate, but you know, shift it upwards. And then you want to make sure the head is straightened out because it's going to tuck through these two hinge pieces right over here. So we're going to get that flipped up like that. And then take this flap and move it downward. Take her arms, move them inward and then upward just so that they can get out of the way. And then you're going to take this back flap under her butt and you're going to move that outward. And then we're going to take the hips and move them. They're going to shift away from the torso. So, or the body anyway, so that's going to shift out like that. The toes are going to be pointing upwards like that. And then we're going to shift those right next to the wheels and put those in place. And I like how these feet actually have treads at the bottom of them. I think that's really cool. And then we're going to take this piece and move that downward. And then there's a little tab right over here that's going to tab into that thigh piece. And same thing with that other side. That already went in there. Then she has some awesome weapon storage. Uh, you could take this little gun right here and tuck it right into that port. And you want to have it like she's shooting herself, okay? And you're going to move these hands forward. And she's just going to grab onto both sides of that blaster, which is really cool. I learned this from Off the Bottom of this review. So kudos to him for getting this piece of information out there. And then that looks great. Without that gun piece right there, the hands would just be flailing around on their own. They could take this gun and then tab that into place. It actually has a port right there and then there's this little slit that sticks out right there that fits into this little spot right there, that little hole in the blaster and just pop that into place like so. And then you can take these translucent blue pieces and attach them any way you want. I don't know, you can have them onto the side. They're contoured so that they could fit either way and that looks really nice. I also kind of like having them sitting up top over here too. This is actually really neat. I haven't decided which display option I like more but one thing is for sure that these do not stay as well as they do on the ports on the sides. Now when I see this alt mode I just think it looks great. I just think it's very compact. It just looks awesome to me. I'm very pleased with this. I like this blue paint over here. It has a slight shading effect going on right there from the outside to the inside of these headlights. I think that's really cool. The Autobot logo came out really clean. Unfortunately, I have this little defect right here with the white paint getting all smudged. You can see that pink coming through right there. So that kind of sucks, but not a big deal. You get this nice translucent blue windshield right over there. You can see the two seats. I really like that a lot. I love that they sculpted in all these details right here inside. You get the steering wheel, glove box right there. I don't know, you get the radio and all that. That's really cool. You can even see a little TV screen. This little piece does come off on me a little bit, especially during transformations, but it pops right back in and it's no big deal. It goes back on the side so we can see the top of this thing. It's just looking really dope. I'm liking it a lot. And as far as the rolling goes, she rolls very well. Yep, that's some good rolling, especially with all those guns underneath there and everything. Yeah, she, she rolls. Oh, thanks for the ride, baby. Now in alt mode, this figure measures to be about four and a half inches across and only about an inch and a half tall. Then here's our seat compared to the TF4 high octane Bumblebee, and then we have Masterpiece Bumblebee over here. And she's just, I guess, a little bit shorter than this high octane bumblebee but yeah i guess i don't know i think it's a bit of a close call here but i think this should be bigger to fit into masterpiece scale and here she is next to the marvel legends big time letdown spider-man uh you're kind of late spidey i know so again i absolutely love this figure i don't know what else to say i just highly recommend it if you get the opportunity to grab it definitely get it if you see it at retail it's available right now at bbts if you can't wait and i hope you guys liked my video if you did please hit the like button hit the subscribe button if you haven't already check out my review of transformers masterpiece bumblebee right over there and my review of hot toys falcon right down over here and i just posted a new vlog at the Charmus Wang channel if you want to watch that. And check out my photo gallery at tformers.com and at toynewseye.com. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. <laughs>